Hello, and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a collective card game in Unity. In this video, we're going to add a feature to our game that when our turn is over and our opponent goes and then he ends his turn, a new card will be populated into our deck. Let's get started. So normally in card games, what happens is that the game starts and you get dealt your hand and then you play your hand. So we're going to go here and we're going to end our turn. And then our opponent has a turn and he does whatever he's going to do. And then when the opponent ends the turn, usually there is a card drawn from the deck automatically. So we're going to work on that right now. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our turn system, C sharp script. And right here, we're going to create a public static bool and that is going to be called start turn and this is going to be the bool that we're going to use to turn on and off the ability to draw a card because remember a bool is something that is true or false and you can almost see it like we can use it as turning a switch on and off so down here in the start menu what we're going to do is that when the game starts, start turn is going to be automatically false because we don't, we don't want to draw a, a, an extra card into our deck from the beginning. We want whatever amount of cards you want, five or seven, and that's it. And then we want to draw the card in after the opponent makes his turn. So with that in mind, we're going to scroll down to our end opponent turn function. And in here, we're going to say that start turn is going to equal true. Because when the opponent has his turn, he's going to end it. And then it's going to draw a card when he's done into our hand. So now we're going to go up here. We're going to hit save. We're going to go back into Unity. We're going to let this compile first, actually. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to open our player deck script. And now in here, we're going to go into the update function. And right under here, we're going to add in an if statement. We're going to say if, not fee, if turn system dot start turn equals equals through and then we're going to put a curly bracket. So we're mentioning or, or calling in a uh, turn system, which is this script right here. And we're saying in turn system, there's this uh, variable called start turn. And then if that is true, then we're going to start a coroutine. And then this coroutine is just going to have draw in it. And we're going to put that together in a minute at the bottom and then a semicolon at the end. So start code routine, call it draw. And then after that is run, uh, turn system dot start turn is going to be back equal to false. So we're going to start a code routine on the bottom and then it's going to be, it's going to have this draw in it, and then it's going to draw one card basically. And then once that's done, once it's drawn, then the turn system goes back to, I'm sorry, turn system dot start turn is going to be switched back to false. So now we're going to scroll down to the bottom to create this coroutine and go right here after our uh, shuffle function. And we're going to say I enumerator. right there i enumerator and we're going to call it draw and it's going to pass through a integer which i'm just going to call x and then curly brackets and then in here we're going to say for int i equals zero semicolon i less than x semicolon 
and then i plus plus and then another curly bracket so we're basically going to say that we we have this i enumerator this coroutine it's called draw which is what we named it up here so it's called draw and we're going to pass through it into an integer which i simply called x and that integer is right here we're, we're just one for one card and so when that happens there's a for loop and we've dealt with this incremental for loop before for the integer i equals zero and then for i less than x x being one and increment it plus plus but it's only one anyway so for that for every time that happens we're going to yield return new wait for seconds and then our wait for seconds is going to be one so just so things don't get jumbled up or happen too fast we are just going to say all right wait a second then execute this line of code where we are going to instantiate and then what we're going to instantiate is coming from card to hand comma transform dot position comma transform dot rotation and then a semicolon at the end of that so we're saying wait a second and then instantiate which means make create something into the game and that creation is going to be from our card to hand uh script and it's going to give it the transform dot position and transform dot rotation same as we did here with the player deck when we wanted to put the cards in the hand same thing applies so now we're going to go up here we're going to hit save we're going to go back into unity and we're going to hit play and as expected our hand here is going to populate and i have mine set to five cards so you can see here one two three four five and you know as we develop this game i'll probably do something play a card then i'm going to end my turn it's going to be my opponent's turn he's going to do some things and then he's going to end his turn and then as you saw one more card after he ended his turn went into the hand and now i have six cards here so that's it for today as always thank you for watching like this video subscribe to my channel follow me on facebook and twitter support me on patreon and a big special thanks to all my patreon supporters see you next time